What's good, YouTube? Man, it's your boy Young Dove coming at y'all with another video. Uh, just chilling around the house. Um, so I figured I'd do an update, man. I know I've been rolling for the past couple of days, man. Uh, but I just got back to the crib, was out doing some stuff that was necessary. Uh, I'm the type of dude where uh, if it's a tool that I need that I don't use on the regular, I'll borrow it. And it's kind of outside of my head. Like, you know, borrow it, do whatever I need to do and send it back to whoever I borrowed it from, man. So I uh, was out with some people. They finally put that battery in my back. Like, yo, you buying all this car audio stuff. How about you take a pause and go grab you some tools? So I went ahead and took my cheap self out to Harbor Freight and grabbed some stuff. And maybe I'll do a video on that later today or maybe tomorrow, man. So, um, but like I said, just got back to in the house for a minute. So figured why not go ahead and do an update. Uh, Y'all see this in front of you. Draped up and dripped down some DS-18. We like it loud. Uh, Y'all know this is a brand that I become accustomed to. It's uh, my new favorite deal. So I know what this is, or at least I assume I know what this is. Um, I bought this off of eBay. I didn't get any tracking with it. And I kind of don't want to cut this, but I think the only way to get in here is to cut this open. So I'm going to open it up. And uh, I guess we'll kind of reveal it with each other. But now that I can see in the top of it, I know exactly what it is, which it should have been. Comes with this here. DS18 likes to send that out. Let me get this out the bubble wrap or whatever oh crap man hold up look at that lanyard man hold on now that i definitely was not expecting man so yes ds18 is some bubble wrap man i might hold on to that because i like the way it looks y'all see what it is it's a dsp um my buddy tim he is a ds18 rep if you need things from ds18 i would definitely say hit that man up and get your stuff through him now what i was definitely not expecting was this here i'm probably more excited about having this lanyard than having that actual dsp man this is nasty so i think was it last night i said i had the d matter of fact it's in the background over there um I, I, I unboxed that uh, Crescendo S1 amp and it came with that purple and white um, purple and white uh, down for sound lanyard and I was like man I'm going to be rocking that I think I'm going to have to go with this right here man this thing is nasty see if I can get up camera might not show it as well as it should DS18 we like it loud camouflage the whole nine minutes so yeah I got a couple lanyards laying around here, man. I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to do because this is definitely the business right here, man. So moving along, uh, my guy, Tim, he's the guy that's going to build my box. Uh, hopefully we'll do it today, tomorrow. I don't know. I got I to gotta hit him up and see what's the, uh, um, what's the move on that. But long story short, me and him were having a conversation and he runs one of these in his setup. Now you're talking probably about 160 dB setup. DS8, uh, with, we call it the DS10. He got a little Chevy S10. Um, had two Hooligan 15s in there on, I think, two 5Ks, and he's going even bigger this year. So I figured, you know, if I'm going to listen to somebody about running a DSP, I'm going to go ahead and talk to him. Like I said, he is a DS18 representative. Um, it's a brand I like, so I'm not tripping about that. It is we're right here, made in Brazil. But once again, I had I've had nothing but good luck good luck with DS18, so I decided to go ahead and take my man's word for it. So, gonna run a DSP, and the only reason why I decided to go ahead and do this is the fact that I have um, uh, five amps for my mids and highs. I think I have a total of eight horns and four super tweeters, four tens and four eights. So, I got my Pioneer. Finally got my 8400. I just want to be able to dial in on certain channels. So that's the reason why I went ahead and got this joker here. Let's get it open. The best thing about it is this little screen right here, man. So I can use all of these little dials and knobs um, and this here uh, to go in and say, hey, you know, I want the horns to be turned down. 
so the speakers can keep up with them or maybe I want the horns turned up I want the super tweeters turned down or whatever so basically what I can do is I can dial in on any certain frequency and make sure that it sounds as good as possible man so that's the reason why I went ahead and grabbed this here um, so I'll probably be hitting my man Tim up like yo I got the DSP um, this is something I'll keep 100 with y'all y'all have never seen any one of these on my channel I don't know the ins and out of DSP other than I know what it's used for um, and the only reason like I said the only reason why I went ahead and grabbed this is due to the fact that um, I'm going 5 amps for the mids and highs I'm going to have a lot of mids and highs um, so those higher frequencies those are the ones that kill your ears uh, so I went ahead and grabbed this so I can keep everything else turned up uh, make sure that she's getting a clear signal in the whole nine. Y'all know I got the audio control, I think Matrix or Matrix Plus, whatever the hell it is for my uh, for my bass. So just trying to trying to do everything all the way right this year, man. So stay tuned. Uh, there'll be more updates. Um, I know I was trying to get my build done by Cinco de Mayo. We just got hit with a. Um, I think the governor of Nebraska hit us with a ban till May 11th. So obviously Cinco de Mayo. Unless they're going to delay it or something, probably ain't going to happen. So I think maybe now I'll shoot for middle May, maybe Memorial Day. Hopefully we have a summer. Like, seriously, like I said, I just got back from Harbor Freight, went to Home Depot. Home Depot was literally holding us outside. Like, only a couple people could go in the store and all that mess. So um, I guess I'll stay positive. You know, that's all the newscasts and things like that. Hey, we'll make it through this in the whole nine. And, and I, I believe we will. So as I've been saying the last couple of videos, wash your hands 20 seconds. Do the six feet rule, man. Uh, try not to touch your face. And if you got that order, stay in the house. Uh, you know, like even me, I make necessary runs. I'm still working. So I'm doing that. I don't know if I'm a, a essential personnel, but even if they decide to shut us down, man, I'm pretty sure we'll get um, we'll get an exemption. Uh, so with that being said, it's Saturday. I'm doing a giveaway, hopefully on Friday. I only got 100 views on that. Well, I moved the amp. But only got 100 views on that Wolfram uh, unboxing video. The DS, or an idea, yo, well, yeah, DS18, um, dual amp inputs are up over there. Uh, I'll probably bring them down to another video. Maybe I'll do an unbox, unboxing on that dual back over there, uh, cause she's about ready to get that done. So stay tuned, man. Like I said, if I can help in any way, shape or form, man, I'll send out some free stuff. If I, if I got to land around, I'll try to send it out the door, try to keep everybody positive, man. So. Same deal as always. Any questions, comments, concerns, hit me up. I'll try to get back to everybody. Um, I'll do my part as far as sharing the Wolfram video on Facebook, maybe even Instagram, uh, to try to get the views up. Like I said, if it gets a thousand views by this coming Friday, the 10th, I believe, by 7 p.m., those dual amp inputs, two winners. Uh, go out to two people, man. So stay tuned. There's going to be more stuff coming. Like I said, might go ahead and do that duel next, man. I know a lot of people are have budgets and. Um, a lot of the budget stuff I do have the most views on it, man. So I'll probably do that next, man. But no matter what, stay positive. Enjoy your weekend. I'm out.